you're seeing rabbits, hares, goats, pigs, red deer. We've been here for less than 24 hours. It's pretty impressive. It's bloody awesome actually. We haven't seen yet, and uh, yeah, sure enough, we've come across a couple of pigs. We'll try and get in onto these pigs pretty quick because I think it's going to get time for them to start building up, so we'll be at the opportunity. Once again, John spotted some pigs up on the track and uh, we put the stalk in on them. We got into around 25 or so. I just had a bit of high ground I had to clear to make sure I was going to get a clear shot. I didn't want any deflections. Wind shift at the last second. Go on. Four <laughs> metres away from me, that little brown one. There's a big billy amongst them, different story, but let him go for another day.
we just crested a hill after putting a bit of a stalk on a ball, and uh, which didn't work out for us. But uh, John noticed these goats coming our way, so we quickly got into position. Didn't give us much time to kind of get ready. I just dropped to my knees. I ranged one of the goats as they filtered past at 21 metres. And then this fella came running in, which uh, hastened the pace a little bit. And um, I had to thread a, an arrow through the fence, which I don't normally like to do. But um, on this occasion, I was really confident. I had a clear pin that was right on his boiler. And uh, yeah, put in the shot. Really happy, he's a great goat. He's probably one of my best goats, I'd say, to date. And uh, certainly one of my best mountain goats, for sure. If not, probably the best.